So here's the headline. The Pentagon has off-world vehicles not made of this earth. This is coming from Popular Mechanics, a, a trustworthy news source, most would say. And it's mostly commenting on New York Times article. So if you've been following UFO news, and who hasn't, uh, earlier th this year the Navy uh, basically confirmed uh, this article saying they published, but they confirmed videos that were already out there. There were videos that have been floating around for years that the uh, UFO community had was on their radar. That was largely held as uh, credible, and the Navy just made steps to confirm that yes, these videos are real. So they were um, instances of uh, uh, Navy flyers following UFOs, commenting on like, "Oh wow, gee, that thing looks crazy. That's something uh, that's on our radar that we cannot." Uh, Whose, whose vehicles there are, how they're being piloted, yada yada. Uh, so that was a good confirmation. Uh, but this article delves into how um, recently um, the, the, the Department of Defense and the Senate have been going into kind of um, um, revealing how, uh, what exactly the government has and trying to investigate and take seriously exactly uh, UFO sightings, uh, things like that. So Harry Reid is a the former um, Senate Majority Leader. So Harry Reid, he uh, believes that crashes of ob of objects of unknown origin may have occurred, and that retrieved m materials should be studied. Um, and so he has been advocating for, or at the front of this effort to. Um, corral the study that we have and if not make public at least um, from an intelligence point of view try to wrap the government's head around what exactly they had but it sounds like in, if you take this in concert with the Navy release it sounds like um, the government is ready to if not fess up at least open the conversation about um, what exactly is going on with UFOs now I've seen personally UFOs uh, I prefer to just say hey these are otherworldly crafts because I know, uh, unlike Marco Rubio here, who um, he he kind of uh, says implies it may be China or Russia or tries to fearmonger about some of um, uh, some of the other countries on this planet that it's it's their uh, war machines uh, spying on us. Um, unlike Marco Rubio, what I saw uh, personally, uh, I know was could not have been tech it was definitely technology and could about not have been technology that humans created so i've always been interested personally in ufos so harry reed uh it sounds he's leaning into the um or implying that the government or stating that the government is going to be investigating if not releasing a whole trove of things this article which i recommend on scientific um or on popular on popular mechanics website it is heavily implying that there is um going to be further revelations of what exactly the government knows what the government has um and if it cites here uh astrophysicist eric davis who consulted the pentagon's original ufo program and now works for a defense contractor so um he uh, he says he's examined some artifacts and concludes that they are not of this earth. So that was cut off. Let me see if I could find the full quote here. Now, would Eric Davis, a defense contractor, be speaking publicly? That is the first hint that this is going. There is going to be something. There is some meat on this bone. Is a defense contractor would not be out in the open speaking about um otherworldly uh, let's see how he put it off-world vehicles not made of this earth so in a contractor for the department of defense eric davis an astrophysicist has examined certain materials and it come to the conclusion that we couldn't make them ourselves interesting um, and I would recommend this documentary by Bob Lazar. It is on Netflix. It was on Netflix. And he, um, he says, he also says he worked on, uh, tech 
at Area 51, examined it. He was basically on a team trying to figure out uh, the propulsion systems. And I'll tell you anecdotally, I can't reveal um, who I talked to, but I, I've known someone, being interested in these things, I've known someone who was in the Army and as a young man also uh, was engaged in activity at Area 51. And he did not see anything specifically, but he, um, he saw the activities of covering up certain things and heard all the rumors while working on site on that base. Um, so say what you will about the uh, Area 51 raid that occurred uh, last year um, and all, all the... Uh, we, we tend to look at these things whimsically, uh, but there is good anecdotal information out there that something... Um, that there's been many off um, UFO crashes and that... Um, our government has some in their possession and has been studying them. And I'd recommend this uh, Bob Lazar documentary. He seems like a credible person and his accounts I would take as credible. And he has a very interesting explanation for uh, of, of the crafts they were examining and the propulsion and all that. So take this at face value. Um, it uh, Read the Popular Mechanics article. Read the New York Times article. It does seem that we are primed for a big reveal of perhaps technology that, hey, the tools we've been using for the last 50, 60 years, a lot of these tools, cell phone technology, computing, um, advances we've had probably could have come from back engineered technologies, from crashes. Do not be surprised if we get major releases coming soon um, revealing exactly what the what our government knows, what they don't know. N perhaps not exactly, but they will. Uh, it, it appears to me like they are primed for releasing some information. Why now? That's the question. Why do you think this is coming out now in this administration? Um, like every president, are they briefed when they come in of, of sir, here's the photos of the uh, crashed uh, uh, vehicles? and the corpses of dead aliens or do they bring in a little green man to or a gray to shake the, the president's hand and give them a salute um probably not and i would guess most of these things the not there's knowledge that resides within the intelligence community and it's compartmentalized and it probably doesn't even reach the level of reaching the president's desk but why right now during a global pandemic uh in an election year in one of the most uh, unique administrations we've ever had, um, it, is this? Are these things coming out? So, I don't have an answer. I just find it very curious. And this, my antennas are up. This article is super interesting. So check it out and let me know what you think. Are aliens among us? And are we going to get a reveal on alien technology soon?